At the Co-op Cafe, we have three main goals. Advance our thinking, build shared understanding, and create alignment at our co-ops and among co-ops. These goals exist in three layers, during the session, at our individual co-ops, and among co-ops regionally and nationally. Our theme for this session is Thriving in the New Competitive Landscape. We use the World Cafe format to focus on two powerful questions. For this session, the questions were, what does it mean to successfully compete in the marketplace? And imagine that we're heading off on a journey into a future that includes cooperatives thriving in a competitive marketplace. On our journey, what should we take? What should we leave behind? And what's one thing we should do right away to get ready? We asked the small groups to distill the conversations they've been having down to just a few words. A person from each group shares their work. Here's a sampling. Learning from our, comp um, our competition, our competitors, that service experience and a culture of service, and that branding is crucial. Create market trust and awareness. Educate everyone about the co-op brand. Maintain market share. Sharing our values. Community outreach. Healthy, positive management uh, toward employees that reflect positively on the customers. Identify and remove barriers. Take calculated risks and inclusivity while retaining identity and values. We must be nimble. Create the third space and remove barriers. Awareness through branding. Lack of tunnel vision. Stronger together. Diversifying service and markets to stay relevant. Loud and proud about our vision. Eliminate the barriers. Make our brands their brands. Cross-sector cooperative cooperation. Successfully tell our story. Happy workers, happy shoppers. Market differentiation, proactive versus reactive. Co-op community as a gathering place and social experience. Staff diversity and development. Give the mimic something to follow. Educate ourselves and others. Clean up the damn store. Uh, committing to implementing business practices. Learn and study conventional strategies. And understanding your niche market. Grow while maintaining core values. Finding and strategically promoting a niche or niches. And providing compelling social experience. Identify authentic strengths and communicate brand. Create a place of belonging. Ability to learn and change. Use authenticity to differentiate from competition. Maximize local vendor visibility. And respond to customer needs. Focus on financial growth, even if losing market share. Uh, maintain our core shoppers. And prioritize our co-op principles. Be able to focus on what is needed. Know your customer and your potential mid-level customer. Provide a compelling social experience and products mid-level customers want. Being nimble and responsive to our customers' needs. Broadcasting how our business model is different and the benefits therein. Tapping into the emotional connection that our customers feel with uh, the co-op. Appeal, understand mid-level and peripheral shoppers. Democratize the process of selection for shop, uh, shoppers of all socioeconomic levels and demonstrate how the co-op is part of the local economy and community. So to take, that would be ownership and identity. Uh, to take, commitment to engage with the community. All right, to take uh, the relationships we have with employees, members, customers, vendors, and the community. Something to take with is the spirit and enthusiasm for being community owned. What we want to keep is the to cooperative spirit. To take with us is our investment and concern for our entire community. We decided to take the cooperative principles and the value-based vision. To take with us our values, our business model, and our story. Our values and authentic authenticity. Take with us the seven co-op principles. We've chosen to take along the seven principles and cooperative values. What we will take, professionalism. What we're going to take are the cooperative principles and some snacks. So we're going to take with us authentic community engagement and ownership. And in order to take a journey, we're also going to take money. So we're going to take more equity with us on that journey. 
to bring with us all of our members and our cooperative values. Leave behind old outmoded attitudes. To leave behind exclusively catering to the core. Uh, something to leave the lack of diversity within our staff. To leave behind outmoded attitudes, such as profitability is bad. What we decided to leave was the idea that we're always doing the same things the same way. What to leave behind is our resistance to change. We will leave behind exclusivity and fear of growth and change. To leave behind a culture of exclusivity and our fear. And to leave behind our sense of righteousness. To leave behind the us against them mentality and product selection, that kind of issue. Barriers, aversion to growth, and exclusivity. What we will leave behind, the frump and the co-op ego. We're going to leave the phrase, we've always done it that way. We're going to leave behind, uh, we've always done it that way, or complacency. And um, we would like to leave behind um, that first wave look of our store and our inefficiency. And now to get ready, listen to your owners and the competition. And to do right away, merchandise the food that people want now. To do right away, cultivate and develop your talent. And how to get ready, engage in community without frump. And come down and visit us at Just Local Food after you're done, if you get a chance. And what we want to do right now is a slogan that I love and I want to just reiterate. Operate under the assumption that the competition is coming right now. And what to do now, start pro planning proactively instead of reactively. To get ready, we will embrace a culture of continuous improvement. And to do right now, to start where we're at and to meet people where they're at. And to do right now, engage our community. To do immediately is no frump. And to do now, plan to plan. And what we'll, we will do now, expand the circle of we. We are going to form cross-sector collaborations. And in order to get ready, we were, we're going to solidify and engage relationships with all stakeholders, along with some reconnaissance and espionage. And what we would like to do going forward is to dig in and identify five um, most important things we can do to improve our store's function and appearance.